get ready for a private tour of the top five Paris art museums. Picking a top five in a city with dozens of great art museums is frankly difficult. Museums one through three are easy. My four and five top museum choices, much harder. Everyone's number one, the Louvre, is the most visited museum in the world. Number two, Dorsey, in a beautifully restored 1898 rail station, has the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist works in the entire world. Number three, L'Orangerie is the permanent home of the world-famous Monet Water Lily murals. Number four, Museum Rodin made the cut because of the beautiful gardens which are home to Rodin's greatest sculptures and for the variety in the collection. And the tough one, Petit Palace, selected because of the building's powerful architecture and the variety of classic art and sculpture in the collection. So settle back and relax for your private tour of the top five Paris art museums. The Louvre Museum, or simply the Louvre as it's known throughout the world, is the most visited museum in the world, one of the largest art museums in the world, and a historic landmark here in Paris. The museum is housed in the Louvre Palace, originally built in the 13th century under Philip II. It's the home of some of the best known artworks in the world, including the Mona Lisa. At any given point in time, 38,000 objects from prehistory to the 21st century are exhibited in the Louvre. That's about 10% of the total Louvre collection. little history, the museum formally opened in August 1793 with an exhibition of 537 paintings and it has been refurbished several times over the centuries. The vast collection is divided among eight curatorial departments, Egyptian antiquities, Near Eastern Antiquities, Greek, Etruscan, and Roman Antiquities, Islamic Art, Sculpture, Decorative Arts, Paintings, Prints, and Drawings. I visited the Louvre in 1975, 1995, and again today in 2022 and the size and the scope of this place is still astounding to me. 652,000 square feet of museum space. It's overwhelming. And to prove my point, a recent study showed that it would take 100 days to see every piece of art in the Louvre, and that is if you only spend 30 seconds in front of each object. Folks ask me, what is your favorite piece of artwork in the Louvre? My answer is, it's all my favorite. The more I see of the lesser known pieces, the more I like the Louvre overall. Is 
this Paris's number one art museum? Probably. Is this the world's number one art museum? Maybe. Visit and you decide. is an art museum in Paris on the left bank of the Seine. The museum is housed in the former Gare d'Orsay, a Beaux-Arts railway station built between 1898 and 1900. The building is beautifully restored with astounding architectural details. I visited d'Orsay in 72, 95, and today in 2000 and 22, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. Dorsey is one of the largest art museums in Europe and one of the great museums in the world.
D'Orsay holds mainly French art dating between 1848 and 1914. It houses the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist masterpieces in the entire world. Painters including Monet, Manet, Degas, Renoir, Cezanne, Seurat, Sisley, Gauguin, and Van Gogh. At any one time, there are about 3,000 pieces on display here at D'Orsay. The L'Orangerie Museum, located in the west corner of Paris's Tuileries Gardens, is most famous as the permanent home of eight large water lilies murals painted by Claude Monet. Back in 1921, Monet was painting the Water Lilies series for the state of France, but they were destined for another museum, the Rodin Museum. The president of the French Fine Arts Council, Georges Clemenceau, wanted the paintings placed in the Larangerie instead, and Clemenceau got his way. Monet helped with the architectural design of L'Orangerie, and the eight panels were placed with great care. In 1927, when the museum was inaugurated a few months after Monet's death, it was called Museum Claude Monet. Subsequently, it was annexed into the Museum of Luxembourg, and formerly renamed Museum National L'Orangerie de Tuileries. definition of world-class art museum with Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings.
Napoleon III had the original Larangerie building completed in 1852 to store citrus trees of the Tuileries Gardens away from the cold in winter. And today it only stores amazing paintings. Opened in 1919, the Museum Rodin is an art museum in Paris dedicated to the work of French sculptor Auguste Rodin. Importantly, there are two Rodin museum sites, this one in Paris at Hotel Byron, and just outside Paris at Rodin's old home, Villa Briant. The Rodin Museum includes 6,600 sculptures and 8,000 drawings. The Museum Rodin contains most of Rodin's significant creations, the thinker you saw just earlier, and this one, the Gates of Hell. While living in Villa Bouillant, Rodin used Hotel Byron as his workshop from 1908 onward, and subsequently donated his entire collection of sculptures, including a lot of other work by Van Gogh, Monet, and Renoir that he had acquired, to the French state on the condition that they turn the buildings into a museum dedicated to his work. Petit Palace is an art museum in Paris. It was built for the 1900 Universal Exhibition, like its next door neighbor, the Grand Palace. Both are located on Avenue Winston Churchill. Petit Palace became a museum in 1902. It now houses the City of Paris Museum of Fine Arts. Designed by Charles Giralt, the architect achieved a successful blend of traditional and modern architecture. The Petit Palace presents the collections of paintings and sculptures acquired by the city of Paris since 1870, either as commissions or bought directly from the artists. Here you'll 
see the classic paintings of Rembrandt, Rubens, Delacroix, Monet, Sisley, Pizarro, Cezanne, Modigliani, Mayo, Rodin, and on and on. If you like my top five choices, or if you hate my top five choices, let's hear about it in the comment section down below.